Today we'll be learning how to recreate the No Time to Die movie book. Welcome to the Resolve store. We have two log footages on our timeline. Let's start working on them. So, in the color tab firstly, we'll be converting our footage from log to rec 709. Click on the effects, then search color space transform, and then drag it over the node. If your footage is already color corrected, that is, if it's already in Rec. 709 format, then you can skip this step and can directly apply the No Time to Die LUT on this node. Now, as the footage is shot on Sony A7S3, so the input color space will be Sony S Gamut, and the input gamma will be Sony S Log 3, and then change the output color space to Rec. 709 and output gamma to Rec. 709 2. Now we have the Rec. 709 footage with us. Add a serial node on which the LUT will be applied. The next step is to import and apply our Bianca LUT from our Cinematic X color grading LUT pack. It's comprised of 335 cinematic color grading LUTs inspired from the color palettes of all the visually stunning films, recreated to help you achieve authentic color grades. You can download Bianca LUT, which we'll be using to recreate the No Time to Die look for free. The link is in the description. After you download the Bianca LUT, make sure to paste the folder in the zip file to DaVinci Resolve's LUT folder. And then after pasting the folder, make sure to refresh for visibility of the LUT. Now click on Serial Node and then apply the LUT on it. Now let's compare this graded footage with a shot from the No Time to Die movie. Um, it looks decent, but not exactly like our target color grade. Well, LUTs are great, but they limit your creative potential as they can't determine the camera profile and lighting conditions of your shot, so they work on the basis of incomplete information. These LUTs do put our shot in the ballpark of our target color grade, but we have to do a little more work to achieve the no time to die film look. Now let's take a look at how the same shot looks after we graded it using the Bianca LUT with our Cinegrade X Power Grade. It looks just like a shot from a movie as if we shot it using a film camera. The subtle details and color contrasts, especially between black and white, are evidently visible, and the shot looks exactly like our target color grade. The added film grain, halation, and other minute adjustments make the grade look aesthetically pleasing. For precise control over the grade, professionals use proper color grade pipelines to achieve the desired look. Exact emulation of this look is only possible using print film emulation. We at the Resolve store have developed a similar color grade pipeline to emulate Kodak 2383 film stock. It's called Cinegrade X Power Grade. Cinegrade X Power Grade gives your footage the look of a film print with accurate colors and rich blacks. It gives DaVinci Resolve users the ability to emulate film stock without having to go through the costly and time-consuming process of printing to film. To download Cinegrade X Power Grade, make sure to check the link in the description. Now let's see how the LUT works with our Cinegrade X Power Grade. Let's start working on the second footage, so now we'll be applying the power grade. If you don't know how to apply a power grade, then you can watch the tutorial. The link of the tutorial is in the description. After applying the power grade, the next and most important step is to upload Grain X 16mm coarse film grain, which is included as a bonus with the Cinegrade X power grade pack. Click on the Media tab and then import the film grain as a mat. Now let's link the 16mm grain in the film grain node. Right click on the exterior mat and then select mat as 16mm coarse grain mat. After that we'll be working on the color transform node. Check the color space specifications under this camera icon. As this footage is shot on Red Raven camera, the input color space will be Dragon Color 2 and the input gamma will be red gamma 4. After that, we'll be applying the Bianca LUT on the negative LUT node. The white balance seems tilted so much towards blue. Let's fix the white balance. Click on the primaries node and then fix the white balance using the offset color wheel. As there's too much blue, we'll be pushing the color more towards red to get the actual white balance. This looks perfect. Now let's compare this with a shot from No Time to Die. Superb! Our graded shot perfectly matches the target color grade. See how in a few minutes we achieved results without going through such a time-consuming process. It would have cost huge numbers of hours to recreate this look, but with our Cinegrade X Power Grade, we achieved the color grade with so much ease. 
That's all guys, more tutorials on recreating your favorite film looks will be coming soon. One more thing, if you wish to use some remarkable videos shot by the great filmmakers, make sure to check artgrid.com. And also, if you're looking for a wide variety of premium music libraries, you can check artlist.com. You'll be getting two months free if you purchase the subscription using the link added in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a master at DaVinci Resolve. Stay tuned!